Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're creating a cool Earth Day mock-up using Photoshop. Mock-ups are these awesome templates that let you showcase your designs in a realistic setting. Think posters on walls or logos on t-shirts. Super handy for visualizing your final product. For this project, I'll be using some photos I took with white paper on leaves and flowers. But this technique works with any mock-up you find online or create yourself. Now, let's get started on creating that Earth Day mock-up. Alright, let's jump into Photoshop. I have my image open here. First things first, we need to select that white paper. The magic wand tool used W key is our best friend for this. We're selecting from left toolbar. It helps us grab areas of single color. Click on the white paper, but here's a tip hold down the shift key while clicking. This will add to your selection, making sure the entire white paper area is selected. If you accidentally click outside the paper, just hold Control Windows or Command Mac and click to subtract that area from your selection. Now, with the paper selected, we want to make a copy to use non destructive way. Up here in the Layers panel, Hit Ctrl J in Windows or Command J Mac to duplicate that selection into a new layer. This way, we can edit the paper without messing with the original image. To see our selection nice and clear, let's temporarily hide the other layers. Just click the little eye icon next to them in the Layers panel. See how only the paper selection is visible. Now we can unhide them all again. Next up, Let's add the image we want to showcase in our mock-up. Head up to the File menu and choose Open Select Your Picture and hit Open again. Now you'll see it as a new image document in your Photoshop workspace. Before we stick the image onto the paper in New Image Document, make sure the layer with the image is unlocked. See the little lock icon next to it? Click that to unlock it. To move the image over to the paper layer, First, select the image layer. Once on the image layer in the Layers panel to make sure it's selected. Copy it by using shortcut Ctrl C in Windows or Command C key in Mac. Now paste image over to the position you want it on top of the paper layer by using Ctrl V in Windows or Command V key in Mac. Let's use the Transform tool Ctrl T for Windows, Command T for Mac to resize and position the image nicely on the paper. Hold down the Shift key while dragging the corners to keep the proportions even. For a more natural look, we can use the Distort Transform tool. Hold down Control Windows or Command Mac while using Transform. You can also access the Distort Transform tool by right-clicking of mouse, selecting Distort from the menu that appears. Now that the image is positioned, it's time for some clipping mask magic. This will make the image follow the exact shape of the white paper. There are two ways to do this. In the Layers panel, click the little bar right between the image layer and the paper layer. Use the keyboard shortcut Control alt g windows or Option-Command-G Mac. See how cool that is? The image now perfectly fits the paper's outline. Here's a super important step. To make future edits easier, let's convert this image layer into a smart object. Right-click on the image layer and select Convert to Smart Object. This is a game changer. It allows you to modify the image within the mock-up without affecting the original file. For example, say you want to use a different picture later. Just double-click the Smart Object layer, replace the image, and save the document. The changes will automatically update in your main mockup. Now, let's add some extra pop to the new image within the mockup. We can do this with a hue saturation adjustment layer, but be careful. This adjustment affects the entire image layer. To isolate the effect on our new image, we'll create a clipping mask. First, add a hue saturation adjustment layer above the new image layer in the layers panel. Here's how to create a clipping mask. Choose the method that works best for you. Click between the hue saturation layer and the new image layer in the layers panel, the little bar where they meet. 
Use the keyboard shortcut control Alt G Windows or Command Option G Mac. Now, adjustments you make to the hue saturation layer will only affect the new image. Modify the hue color, saturation intensity, and lightness of the image. Play around to achieve the desired effect. Remember, this is a non-destructive edit. The original image remains untouched. For example, adding a new image to the smart object. The beauty of smart objects is that you can edit them directly without affecting the main mockup. Let's add another image. Double click the smart object layer where you want to place the new image. This will open a separate document. Now you can add your new image. Here's the process. Open the image you want to add file menu open. Notice how the current image is in portrait mode while our mockup is landscape. To fix this, go to the image menu windows or edit menu Mac and select crop. Choose a landscape aspect ratio and crop the image accordingly. After cropping the image, go to edit menu and select copy and come to small object document and place over the image layer by pasting file by using shortcut control V in windows or command V in Mac. Copy and paste the image onto the existing image layer in the smart object document. Use the transform to control T for windows, command T for Mac to resize and position the new image. Use the distort transform tool hold control or command while using transform to stretch the image naturally within the paper's shape. Once you're happy with the placement, save the smart object document control S for windows, command S for Mac. Back to the main mockup. Now, switch back to your main mockup document. You'll see the changes you made to the smart object reflected here. If you decide you don't want the new image after all, simply double click the smart object layer again, delete the new image layer in the smart object document, save the smart object document control S for Windows, command S for Mac again. The changes will be reflected in your main mockup document as well. Now, time to add text. So you need open again smart object document. Now let's add some text to our Earth Day design. Grab the text tool T key and click where you want your text to appear. Type in your message and use the move tool V key to position it nicely. Remember that smart object power we just talked about? It works with text layers too. After you're happy with your text placement, right click on the text layer and select convert to smart object. This allows you to easily change the text content and color later on. Just double click the smart object text layer, edit the text and save. The changes will automatically update in. We can add even more text to our Earth Day mockup. This is where the magic of smart objects really shines. Grab the text tool T key again and create new text layers with your additional messages. Position them using the move tool V key. Remember, you can convert each text layer into a smart object by right-clicking on the layer and selecting Convert to Smart Object. This allows you to easily edit the text content and color later on. Double-click on a smart object text layer to open a separate document for editing the text. Make your changes and save. When you return to your main mock-up document, the text will be automatically updated. Want to change the text color? Here's where things get cool. With a smart object text layer selected, click the little icon that looks like a stacked rectangle next to the layer thumbnail in the layers panel. This opens the smart object for editing. Oh, inside the smart object, add a new solid color adjustment layer. This lets you fill the text with any color you want. Create a clipping mask between the solid color layer and the text layer. You can do this by clicking the bar between the two layers in the Layers panel, or use the short control Alt G for Windows, Option Command G for Mac. Now you can choose any color you like for the text. This color change will be reflected in your main mockup document as well. Let's add one final image to complete our mockup. Select the Smart Object layer where you want to place the image. You can now search online for a new image that complements your mockup. Once you find it, download and open it in Photoshop. 
open a new document containing the image you want to add. Copy image layer and pasting new image over the image. Copy and paste the new image onto the image layer in your mockup document. In your mockup document, use the transform to control T for Windows, command T for Mac to resize and position the image according to the paper's shape. Don't forget the distort transform tool hold control command while using transform for a natural look. The new image might have a white background. Let's change that. First, hide the slogan text layer. If it's in the way, click the eyeball icon next to it. Open another smart object layer by clicking the smart object icon. Inside the smart object, add a solid color adjustment layer and create a clipping mask with the text layer same process as before. Choose a new color for the background. Repeat these steps with other text layers if you want to adjust their background colors as well. You're done. Now you have a fantastic Earth Day mock-up that's completely customizable. Here's the beauty of it all. You can easily change the image, text content, and text color by editing the smart object layers. No need to recreate anything from scratch. Save your mock-up document as a PSD file. This preserves your layers for future edits. Save your final image in your preferred format like JPG, PNG, or TIFF. Congratulations! You've created a stunning Earth Day mock-up using Photoshop. Remember, this is just a basic example. Feel free to experiment with different images, textiles, and colors to create unique mock-ups for any occasion. Absolutely! Here's a great way to end your Earth Day mock-up tutorial with a thank you note. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on creating an Earth Day mock-up using Photoshop. Now you have the skills to showcase your designs in a cool and realistic way. Before you go, if you found this video helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up and leaving a comment down below letting me know what kind of mock-ups you'd like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more design tutorials and tips. Happy creating and happy Earth Day!